I was raised here, actually, in this area. I was born in Nederland. Um, my parents, we lived in Groves and Nederland, and um, I was born to, in a Christian family. Um, when I was young, I used to have questions. I, we were, I was raised in a strict Southern Baptist house. So every Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night, we were at church. So I used to have, not doubts, but questions. Um, I looked into Buddhism, Judaism, Islam, you know, several different religions. And Islam seemed, the one, seemed to be the one that I gravitated toward. I was leaving one morning to go grocery shopping and under the windshield wiper of the car um, was a piece of paper. So I pulled it out. I thought it was an advertisement for something. Um, I pulled it out and it said, um, you'd better sleep with your eyes open. Uh, around 8 p.m. Uh, we heard some sounds outside and it was the sound of glass breaking. Uh, I went outside to look, but it was too dark, and I looked at the glass of the house, and there was nothing. We went back in the house, went to sleep. The next morning when I was going to work, I looked at the car, and I noticed that the glass was broke, and it was two windows that were broke. And after that, I did call the police, and we filed the police report. Hate crime has anything to do with certain groups or any kind of bias. Uh, sexually orientation, sexual orientation to color biases, to any kind of bias that would be somewhere where there is a crime related due to that bias is a, is a hate crime. Um, we could be at the gas station pumping gas and somebody will roll down the window and say, go back to where you came from or scream, you terrorist or something like that. If it were me alone, it would be different, but in front of my children, it's, it's hard sometimes. The FBI said that they cannot get involved until it is established as a hate crime, for which there has to be an indication from the criminals that either a note saying that we hate you, you're Muslims, etc., or something like that, which in a broken window or a broken glass, there isn't any indication that it is a hate crime. To identify a hate crime, that that's actually that is really challenging for as law enforcement goes, because we have that element of proof that we have to. F we know that there was a crime committed, but whether it was a hate crime, that's relatively that's pretty difficult to prove. Uh, we have to do the background to figure out exactly. Okay, say that I was to assault someone. Now I have to prove that that was just not just a simple assault that it was a, an assault because of a bias. We are targeted. I mean, right now with the incidents that are happening, we are being targeted systematically with attacks. No one else is being attacked but us. The, I spoke with the police and they wouldn't comment on this. But there, are, there is no one that is being targeted as an entity like we are, especially in this city. In order to be American, means you have to believe the Christian way. And we've heard that, you know, this nation was founded on Christian beliefs, when actually the nation was founded on freedom from religion. Every religion, they also have an extremist. That's why we have a crusade. You know, in a, you know, 100 years ago, different, uh, group of extremists from different religions. They misunderstood, misinterpreted religions. And now they use that against Islamic population. Texans and all Americans coming from many different backgrounds. Because what you see on TV is not what we believe. You know, um, we hate terrorists most of all because what they're doing to our religion and to fellow Muslims. Um, and innocent people. Um, murder is murder. I got a 95 on my psychology. The one equals the whole. Okay, just because my religion is Islam and the people that do these awful things say that they're Muslim, therefore I am them. That that leap is what's so bad. It's, it's not leaping? Mm -mm. 
this this land is actually the best one for a Muslim to live in because we have freedom to practice our religion and they have freedom to practice their religion. So what better place to be? He seems really happy. Mm -hmm. With the class. Yeah, no, but it took me a month to read. Mm -hmm.